Have you ever looked up at the night sky and wondered if we are truly alone in the universe? Well, it turns out NASA has been wondering the same thing. Imagine if extraterrestrial beings decided to visit Earth. According to a US congressman, part of today's UFO panel, we wouldn't stand a chance against them. Representative Tim Burkett speaking on the Event Horizon podcast made it clear, quote, We are out of our league. We couldn't fight them off if we wanted to. That's why I don't think they're a threat to us, or they would already have been. He even suggested that aliens could effortlessly reduce us to ashes. Burkett is convinced UFOs are real. He pointed out that these alien crafts, which are capable of moving underwater without leaving a heat trace, defy our understanding of physics. The extraterrestrial crafts, quote, can travel light years or at the speeds that we've seen defy physics as we know it, he added. In July, Burkett Burkett was part of a House Representatives group that listened to testimonies from three ex-intelligence and military individuals. These testimonies focused on what we now call Unidentified Anomalous Phenomena, or UAPs, revealed encounters with unexplainable entities. Burkett, a long-standing believer in UFOs, supported whistleblower David Grush last year. Grush accused the government of concealing alien spacecraft evidence. Speaking to the Washington Examiner, Burkett Burkett affirmed his belief in Grush's claims, citing numerous credible witnesses including pilots and astronauts. He expressed his conviction that the government has been withholding this information since the 1947 Roswell incident, possibly even earlier. According to him, the secrecy is so deep rooted that those who could piece together the puzzle have either left or are unaware of the complete picture. During the hearing, Grush testified alongside Ryan Graves and David Fravor, two former US military and intelligence officials. Both claimed to have seen aircrafts that couldn't be of human origin. Could this be the proof we've been looking for, or is it just another chapter in the ongoing mystery of our universe? We spoke about the infamous Baba Vanga on the first part, go check that out if you haven't seen it yet, but of course that means this time we have to take a look at the other world famous prophet that everyone looks to each year, Nostradamus. Did Nostradamus, the famous 16th century seer predict an alien invasion. Nostradamus is known for his mysterious and often interpreted verses, and there's one that stands out for its seemingly extraterrestrial implications. This particular quatrain reads something like this. From the sky will come a great king of terror, bringing back to life the great king of the Mongols, before and after Mars reigns happily. Now, on the surface, this could be interpreted as a prediction of war and upheaval, which was Nostradamus' usual fare, but let's think bigger. Could this great king of terror from the sky actually be referencing an alien force, perhaps one that's technologically superior and thus terrifying? The reference to Mars reigning happily adds an intriguing twist. In modern times, Mars is often associated with extraterrestrial life and space exploration. Could Nostradamus have been alluding to a time when the exploration of Mars leads to an unexpected and alarming encounter with alien beings? Now, it's of course crucial to remember that Nostradamus predictions are notoriously vague and open to interpretation. They're like a puzzle, one that we just can't resist trying to solve. And in this case, the puzzle pieces might just fit together to suggest an alien invasion prophecy. So while it's tempting to imagine that Nostradamus had foreseen an extraterrestrial visitation, it's also important to approach these predictions with a healthy dose of skepticism. After all, the future is not written in the stars, but in the actions and discoveries of humankind. Or is it? <laughs> Leave you with a little mystery there. When we think about contacting alien civilizations, it's like reaching into a cosmic unknown. But what if the unknown reaches back? Stephen Hawking had some thoughts on this, and they weren't exactly filled with interstellar optimism. He warned about the potential dangers of actively trying to contact extraterrestrial beings. Imagine, for a moment, an advanced alien civilization receiving our messages. They've been zipping through the vastness of space, potentially for eons, way more advanced than we are. If these extraterrestrial beings decided to pay us a visit, it might not be for a friendly intergalactic handshake. I mean, we can draw a parallel with history. 
our history. Think about the times Europeans explored new lands and encountered native populations. It wasn't a peaceful exchange of culture and technology, it was more often than not a conquest, a domination, an exercise in imperialism. Now let's scale that up to a cosmic level. We might not just be talking about a clash of cultures, but a clash of species, civilizations spanning across the stars. This perspective presents a chilling scenario. An advanced civilization, upon finding us, might see Earth not as a place for diplomatic exchange, but as a new territory to conquer or a resource to exploit. This idea flips the narrative of us venturing out into the stars, turning us into the potential ground zero for a cosmic imperial conquest. So when we're sending signals into space, are we naively inviting a storm? Are we, in our search for cosmic companionship, inadvertently knocking on the doors of beings who see the universe not as a community, but as a landscape ripe for the taking? Little something to think about this Wednesday. Have you ever pondered if the classic sci fi tales we enjoy could be more than just fiction? Let's dive into H.G. Wells' The War of the Worlds, published in 1898. This isn't just a story, it's a prophetic vision cloaked in the guise of science fiction. Wells presents an unnerving scenario Martians invading England with technology far beyond human capabilities. Now, this might sound like typical sci fi fare, but let's Let's think even deeper. Wells was not only crafting a narrative of extraterrestrial invasion, he was subtly hinting at a future where humanity might not be alone in the universe. The precision with which he describes the Martians' advanced weaponry and tactics is eerily prescient, almost as if he's forecasting our own encounters with alien technology. This novel did more than entertain, it sowed seeds of thought about our place in the cosmos. Wells was asking his readers to contemplate a future where Earth Earth could face beings from another world. Fast forward to today with our sophisticated telescopes and Mars rovers, the idea of encountering extraterrestrial life doesn't seem so far fetched. The War of the Worlds thus morphs from a work of fiction to a speculative blueprint of what might lie ahead. The legacy of Wells' masterpiece is its enduring ability to make us look up at the stars and wonder, what if? What if one day his vision of alien invasion becomes more than just a story? What if it's a glimpse into a future event, a cosmic rendezvous that humanity might one day face? In the War of the Worlds, H.G. Wells may have been giving us a forewarning, wrapped in the thrilling package of a science fiction novel. Okay, so this is one that happened recently, and while not really a prediction, it's more of a theory about something being kept secret from the public. Yes, of course, I am talking about the Miami Mall incident. We truly have to discuss it because whatever is going on there is so strange. The scene at Bayside Marketplace Mall was a chaotic one, with about 50 teenagers reportedly causing havoc, setting off fireworks, and engaging in fisticuffs. But but here's where it gets weird. Online, particularly on Twitter or X or whatever I'm supposed to call it, stories began to circulate. Not about the teen ruckus, but about the alleged presence of an 8 to 10 foot tall shadowy figure, presumed to be an alien. The plot thickens with a video from above the mall showing an army of police cars, their sirens wailing. Some counted up to 60 of them. Okay, It's not often that you get a police response like that. Adding fuel to the alien fire, a video surfaced showing what some claimed was a large shadowy being right outside the mall. This sparked a flurry of conspiracy theories. One TikTok user, at anti underscore coulette, went viral, claiming multiple eyewitness accounts of these gigantic beings. Another user, at sosa.pippin, claimed to have seen a huge shadowy a figure that appeared and vanished amidst what they thought were maybe shots going off. The internet did what it does best meme making. One user quipped about the number of police cars while another pointed out the lack of close up footage of the supposed alien. CBS News Miami's officer Michael Vega tried to set the record straight, emphasizing the teen's altercation and firmly denying any extraterrestrial involvement. And James Torres, head of Miami's Downtown Neighbors Alliance, explained the heavy police response was due to a mistaken report of an active shooter, not 
an alien invasion. In the end, four people were arrested and by the early morning hours, normalcy returned, but in the digital world, the legend of the Miami Mall aliens lives on. Because after all, the internet never forgets. What do you guys think? I don't know, all right? I'm not so convinced. I think it was aliens. I'm just gonna go right out and say it. I think it was aliens. All right guys, that has been our list for today. Thanks so much for checking it out. I've been your host today, Olivia Kozlowski, and I will see you again soon. Bye. What's up? It's Wednesday, hump day, happy hump day. We did part one yesterday and they wanted a part two, all right? We, this video blew up, so hopefully this one does too. I'm excited about it. I scripted it last night because I was just thinking about it.